it is a very different lifestyle, and that's kind of been um, an adjustment for me, especially because I'm new to this as of this year. She went to YZ High School, then competed Division One at the University of Vermont, and now Elena Sonnison is putting her every effort into making it as a pro. Every single day is a work day for us, and we're trying to figure out like what we can do that day to become a better athlete. Hi, how's it going? This is what it's like to have a goal and go for it. To bet on yourself. Like the races she skis, it's the kind of thing you have to look at with a long-term perspective. With the Olympics in four years being the goal, it's kind of how do I get there in four years and how do I develop over time. I feel like each day I've taken a step closer and closer to that. After graduating last spring, Sonnison joined a professional ski team based in Vermont. The same team as Olympic gold medalist and fellow Minnesota native Jesse Diggins. She's been so welcoming and um, it's pretty great just to realize that someone, you know, Olympic gold medalist is just another human. And, um, you know, we're, we're good friends now and um, she's really inspiring to work with. And work it is. The life of a skier just breaking into the business is not a glamorous cycle of fresh powder and podiums. It's living lean and focusing entirely on your craft. We're training twice a day, pretty much every day, how much you can challenge yourself physically and mentally and emotionally to, uh, to reach those goals. And not to be underrated, financially. When you're just starting out, skiing alone isn't enough to support yourself. I did a lot of work over the summer just kind of doing odd jobs to help pay for the expenses that you have with skiing and so I was serving tables and I was working in a ski shop just doing whatever I could do. I was coaching and babysitting and honestly I was kind of just scraping by. A fundraiser this fall in Minnesota made a huge difference. And that was pretty, um, I would say, humbling just to see like how many people wanted to see the success and um, how much support there is from Minnesota skiers. Allowing her to chase her dream and feel like the whole state's behind her. She's proud to make them proud. David McCoy, WCCO 4 Sports.